Hi, this is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. I'll talk about a problem that we see all the time with folks that have a problem with their truck, and we see this in six liters a lot when there's an EGR cooler failure. The people have the problem, they, they take the truck, uh, and they park the truck. And, and there's a problem with this, because what happens is, is that uh, with an EGR cooler rupture, coolant actually gets down into the exhaust system which will work its way back into the engine okay say if the way the motor is sitting depending on what the rotation is of the crank when you tr shut the truck off that coolant goes down into, into the exhaust and then it will go backwards and go through the exhaust valve and it fills up one of the cylinders now when that happens one of two things can happen when you go to crank the engine again if it if you have a hydrolock situation you can actually bend a connecting rod or if you let the truck sit for a long period of time then that water will get in there and rust the bore now this is a real serious problem because once the bore is rusty then it, it and we, even if we clean it up it creates a spot in the bore where the iron oxide the rust actually eats into the bore and creates little porosity little holes in there well that holds oil and then after we put the thing all back together and, and, and you know get the EGR cooler fixed or, or in this particular case here we put the cylinder heads back on we're doing a bulletproof on this then the truck becomes an oil burner okay it burns oil on this truck here 2005 F250 this man had the problem and he parked the truck well you can see down in here how the bores have been rusted okay the water got down in all the bores on the on the uh, on the passenger side well, and what's going to happen is, is because of the rust in there etching into the bore, now the oil is going to sit in there and now it's going to be an oil burner. Uh, it actually, the oil will sit there and as the piston goes down, then the oil becomes part of the combustion process and then the truck will just burn oil from then on. The only solution at this point is to yank the engine and tear it down and bore it and put new pistons in it. And this is avoidable. There's only really one solution to this and that is to, to let the coolant run down a little bit. You don't want to take it completely out because if it gets cold you don't want the engine to crack while you're waiting. The problem that really occurs here is, is that when the EGR cooler fails, uh, these folks will, don't have the money right then. So the truck has to sit until they, they save up enough money to fix it or, or make other arrangements. Well, in the meantime, that rust is eaten away at the bores of the engine. So the solution here is, is, to, is to run the engine, let the coolant get down a little bit. Don't let it go completely empty and don't get it hot, okay? Don't overheat the engine. And then you go over to uh, marine supply or, or even tractor supply or any of uh, equipment supply places and they have what's called a fog. It's an engine fog. You actually spray it into the intake don't use WD-40 because WD-40 will dry it out and it'll rust anyway. You want to use an engine fog that's actually an oil. You, you, you open up the intake and you spray it into the intake with the engine running and you, you let the engine run while you're spraying it and then you shut the engine off. And what that'll do is it'll coat all the pistons, it'll coat all the bores, and then the engine is, is good to sit for a, a really a long time. And this is extremely important because now, you know, this man here has a, has a fairly good sized bill already uh, with a bulletproof uh, and now it's going to get a whole lot more expensive unnecessarily because the bores got rusty. I understand that money's short for folks, but if you have to store the engine and you know that there's a problem with an EGR cooler or if there's coolant coming out your tailpipe, spray that fog into the engine and fog the engine. They use it in marine all the time, especially up north where boats have to sit for six, eight months until it actually gets warm enough to go back in the water again. Engine, fog the engine and then shut it down and then, then you're good to let the thing store so that you're not looking at extra, you know, several thousand dollars to straighten the thing out. I dug around the shop here a little bit and found what we're looking for. This is what you're after. Starbright, professional grade fogging oil or some facsimile thereof. Anybody you know that's in the boat business will know where to get this stuff. I'm sure you can buy it on eBay. I mean, there's a, there's a Starbright part number, 84812. But this is the stuff, and you spray it right in the intake. You open the air box and spray it in the intake, and then you finish spraying it in the intake. You just shut the motor down real quick uh, before it all runs out of there. And this will this will save your engine, and you're not going to be ending up with a big surprise extra bill when you take your truck in to get it fixed. Also, if you're watching my videos and you're not watching them on PowerStrokeHelp.com, you're really missing where the action is. You need to go to the website PowerStrokeHelp.com and check us out because there's a lot of information on there that could be very useful to you as a PowerStroke owner to keep your truck on the road as long as possible. And remember, if you press the Arch Oil button, all the proceeds from Arch Oil uh, go to help train a vet, the nonprofit organization that I run. 
to help veterans ease their way back into civilian life. Thank you for all your support for making PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop for PowerStroke owners on the internet.